If you think YouTube is the platform where you come, make a couple videos with minimal effort and make a bunch of money, you're in the wrong place, pal. Somewhere else. Hello y'all, welcome to the channel for my new viewers. Welcome back to the channel if you're a subscriber. I'm Siobhan Beckford. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can receive my video updates. In this video, I'm going to be discussing my journey with starting out as a creator on the YouTube platform and also giving you guys some tips and guides if you're a new creator to the platform or you plan on creating content for the platform. Also, if you've been creating content for the platform and want some insights on what you can do to make your YouTube journey easier and the do's and don'ts I've seen so far while being on YouTube. Let's dive right into this one. So yes, enough said. My YouTube journey. I started YouTube as early as 2015 back when I was in high school. I started out just creating random videos because back then I was a recording artist and I wanted to produce my music on the platform to get some views, some tractions, hoping one day people will like my music and I maybe get famous and start trending, going to shows and whatnot. But that dream suddenly went down the drain as I started to take my academics more seriously and also because of the fact that no one was paying attention to my music. So that was the first time I attempted being a YouTuber. I would do daily vlogs, I would do music videos that I made myself and I have posted them, I was consistent but I wasn't getting any traction because I had no idea how the platform worked back then. I was just a kid back in high school. YouTube was a relatively new thing to our age group even back then in 2015. So I didn't pay much attention to the platform to understand how exactly it worked because a lot of people didn't know how it worked even back then. So I just ditched it. I deleted all the content, deleted all the videos. And now that I'm looking back, I kinda regret doing that because I could have used those data from back then to see what I did wrong, what I could improve on, and the trajectory I was on back then to see what I should avoid doing now while I grow this small channel. So fast forward to 2019. No, it's Chevy the Jamaican and here I am at Adventure Park Zipline, vlog number two. Stick around, tell me what you think. I'm gonna do some zipping clips. See you all out there, all right? Like, share and subscribe. And that is when I created this channel you guys are watching this video on. I posted my first video in August of 2019. That's when I took a trip to Tennessee in the United States and I made a video about the Samsung Galaxy S10. I was testing out the video quality from the cameras and I said um, why not post it on YouTube because I watched a ton of YouTube videos about the phone before I made the purchase and I was saying why don't I give my input or feedback on what I thought about the phone so I went out in the bushes, captured some cinematic videos, posted it on the platform. But that's all I did. I just captured some cinematic footages and posted it on the platform. I didn't talk about the specs, I didn't talk about how I felt about the phone, I didn't review the phone, anything. I just posted the videos with a background music and that's it. And the video performed horribly. I continued posting more contents after that in August of 2019 before I left the States I posted about three more videos or four I think it's four videos since then and I had no idea how the platform worked even back then in 2019 I was just creating videos and posting, experimenting. It was a learning curve for me, a steep learning curve and I was always wondering why aren't my videos getting any views? And I started diving down into the rabbit hole of researching how to make my videos blow up, how to get more views on YouTube, how to get more subscription. And a lot of things came along. You have the sub for sub, the buying of views, joining Discord servers where people mass subscribe to each other's channel. And 
I went even went and sponsored videos on my channel to get views and all of those stuff they affected my channel negatively my channel performed horribly and I was I'm going to be honest I was extremely depressed because but then I was looking at the other creators they were creating content on the regular they were posting regular their content was blowing up because obviously if we were watching creators on the platform we we're gonna be watching the famous and popular creators who are getting the views the high subscriber count we're not going to watch the person with 100 subscribers and three views on their videos come on it's human nature we're not gonna click on it and that's the problem YouTube has this flaw where the top creators will continue growing bigger but the low and new creators will stay beat below that barrier, that gate unless they supposedly create that banger video that blows up but it's literally a gate. There is a massive gate keeping the lower level creatives from blowing up on the platform. That's my theory but I've noticed it across a lot of small channels like they're making exceptionally well videos, well scripted, well edited, great storyline, great content, great everything but their videos fail to perform. It can be of a number of factors. The nowadays audience, they aren't interested in those kind of stuff. Like nowadays people, they don't want to learn anything. They want to waste their time watching mindless contents, especially these short form contents. The viewing for longer form content has declined drastically since 2020. And the attention span of humans are also falling drastically. Like no one is really watching videos 10, 20 minutes long because their attention span is so short. It's like you're watching a video for two minutes, you get bored and you want to scroll away and watch something else. It's like there's something eating away at our attention span so that is keeping the newer creatives stuck below that barrier even if we're making banger content but the prominent creators are going to always be at the top because of their reputation and they have mastered the game of how to create content and how to bring the content across to their audience also they have all the resources they need at hand the fancy camera the expensive lights to make their videos they have this nice studio, they have the products to review, everything is given to them on a silver platter. Well, not really given because I'm sure they've worked very hard to get where they are, but you get the gist, you get what I'm trying to say. Once you're up here, it's going to be easier for you to grow than if you're down here. It's like there's a big concrete barrier blocking new creators from breaking out and getting into the leagues of the elites and I've noticed that it's it's literally a numbers game it's not luck YouTube isn't luck you have to study the topics that someone would sit and watch something that would be of value to someone something that would grab the attention of those short attention span humans and you have to put enough effort into making that content that will keep in them watching it for more than 10 seconds or they will click away and not only that after you've grown a certain level of audience you have to start producing a certain level of quality and I'm not only talking about your video quality, your audio quality, the quality of your storyline, the value you're offering in your content and so on and so forth. It's also important not to niche down yourself when you're just starting out on the platform. Experiment, try new topics, try that trend you see going on. It's important to try the trends. If you see DJI released a new drone, go make a review about that drone even if you don't have it. Go read some articles and make a video on that drone. I am a photography and filmmaking creator by the way so you might hear in me using a lot of these photography and video creating references for the further of this video. If you see Canon release a new camera, 
go and do your personal opinion on that camera so when persons are searching for the new camera your videos will pop up if your favorite artist released a new music video go and review the music video if you're going to a very popular place that people like to search for in order for them to view content on it before they visit it review that place get some nice shots compile a montage do a travel vlog so persons can search for that place and your video can pop up you don't need to niche when you're just starting out follow the trends and also choose topics that persons will search for on youtube when you're just starting out so your videos can pop up in search another important aspect I've learned while being on the platform is to come up with the title of your video and also the thumbnail before you record the video. It's very important. I usually make the thumbnails after I record the video but I found out it's always giving me a warm time coming up with the concept, getting the content ready to create the thumbnail. The video is a banger of course, I made it but the thumbnail is always lacking so i started making my thumbnail before i record a video and those videos have been picking up the pace also i'm saying a lot of also's also pay attention to your videos and which video is performing better than others look for the videos that are performing better getting more views getting more views at a shorter period of time has a longer view retention and make more of those videos make more of those videos because those are the videos persons are coming onto your channel for so if they subscribe to your channel and they see you pushing out more content like that they are more likely to click on your video when they see the notification pop up and they are more likely to click on the rest of your videos when you create more content and I mentioned earlier YouTube is a numbers game YouTube is always going to prefer the channel that is getting more traction than a channel that is not getting any traction because they need to promote their platform they need more ads running to viewers and they just need the channel that is doing better so it is a numbers game numbers is all that matters on YouTube but with that being said, not because it's a numbers game mean you're gonna go out making videos without any purpose. To be on YouTube making videos as a new creator takes passion and dedication, also consistency. You can't be on the platform thinking about, oh, you're gonna make some millions and make a lot of money and get free stuff from sponsors by creating videos on the platform. You have to have passion, you have to have patience, you have to have resilience, you have to have determination, you have to have a lot of skills and endurance for what it is that you're making your content about. You can post a video you worked two weeks on and it get 50 views, yeah, that has happened to me a lot. You can post a video you spend a lot of hours filming, editing and when you post it, 100 views that's just how youtube is you can't pay attention to those stuff or you will be trapped in the bubble of being depressed not being encouraged to make new videos and so on and so forth if i was to pay attention to that i would have stopped making videos a very long time ago i can count on one hand all my videos that have surpassed 5,000 views one of those videos are short <laughs> so that's about four videos that have passed 5,000 views one of them is about 20,000 views currently but anyways don't pay attention to the numbers do it because it is what you want to do you like doing it and it's not just about the money look at the money and the fame as a bonus of creating content on youtube create content to help others or to entertain others don't look at it as a source of income when you're just starting out or it will overwhelm and depress you because <laughs> anyways so i don't want to keep you guys here too long because i know you got some motivation from me i hope you did to go and make some videos to post on your youtube channel to maybe reach a wider audience get that 100,000 views you're waiting on and to grow your channel so i'm siobhan beckford if you found this video interesting please hit the like button and also the subscribe button 
so you can be notified whenever I make new content like these. I do wish you the best on your creative journey and I do hope you get that 100,000 subscribers and views on your videos on this platform. Siobhan Beckford once more, stay creative, signing out. <laughs> Hashtag crisis.